I don't know why I kept saying Gordon was a cop at the end of the last episode. I meant Gordon is a lawyer. I don't like that Gordon is a lawyer. I will not hear people saying Gordon wasn't a cop. I know. I did. Full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Batman Cape Crusader Episode 2. And be a villain. And press play when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I'm kind of guessing we're not going to see Joker for a while. And who knows what kind of Joker we'll get. I know Harley Quinn's going to be in this. Can't be weirder than the Joker we got in Suicide Squad Isekai. I'll say that much. Yeah, I, yeah, again, I definitely like this intro, but something about it, something's missing. Maybe a little bit of energy, maybe they went with the wrong tone choice for an intro, I'm not sure. I like it. Wow. I usually like Renee Montoya. Okay. All right. Is everybody a lawyer? Ooh. Is that going to do something? Okay, okay. They, they have used their character who's not usually a lawyer is now a lawyer quota. We can give, we can give them other jobs. I wouldn't be bothered by Lucius if we hadn't already done it with Barbara. Why is it, is it going to be all the tech-focused people? 235. 3, 2, 1, go. Right on. All right. Ooh. I wonder what route they're going to go for your character here. If we're going to go the full powers route, the more just a chameleon route.
I love the Vincent Price angle. Dwayne Freed. Mark Mothers, I think that said. Oh. There you go. The, the the determination walk. I like folk that we're focusing on Montoya's storyline through the framing of what what Batman's able to uh glean. Full clay face? Honestly, it looks more like the shadow. Hmm. Not sure. Could just be a mask. Could also be the other clay face. The, uh, the one, the, the one I, whose name I never remember. Matt Hagen. There we go. Okay, he moved. He didn't take too long. All right. Yeah, better survival instincts than mo instincts than most civilians in these shows. Oh my. Yeah, this is gonna be. Oh dear. Hugo Strange? Professor Pig? Could still be Clayface and they're just playing around. Hmm. Is that John DiMaggio playing Bullock? I need to hear him again. It was just the laugh that kind of threw me. I mean... Okay. All right, so already kind of a piece of shit. This is what they mean by by two faces being different. Okay. Right. Hmm. 
<laughs> like, even he's like, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, it probably is Clayface, but obviously any laugh like that's going to give you certain ideas in a bad bad show. Okay. I thought it was going to catch fire and I was going to be like, it's Firefly, but no. I really like the tiny bat symbol, too. I wouldn't want it to be the normal go-to for a Batman, but I like it. Kind of how I feel about the ears, too. I, I like it occasionally, but I, it's, a, it's a good flavor. But it's, the, it's no chocolate, if that makes sense. Why it's always Amazon Prime that does that? Ooh. God, you really don't look that bad. You're a little... You're a little... Graven, but... I hope he's not just ugly now, and that's the whole thing with him. As it, it would be, you know, sad, which is appropriate for a Batman villain origin story, but it doesn't make him... I would be fine if he was more just Spider-Man chameleon type deal than that. I love how, how much we're just doing the investigation, st like playing it straight here. Not having, feeling the need to have it be exciting in, in an action sense every two seconds. There you go. <laughs> I 
I love, by the way, episode two, and maybe this will change. So far, at least, they're not overly concerned about an obvious ongoing storyline. I'm sure there will be ongoing elements, just like there were in Batman the Animated Series, but... Focusing more on the individual episodes to make them as good as they possibly can could possibly be amazing for this show. So, 2 I like that Batman's clearly better than basically everyone he runs into, but he's not unstoppable. I really do love the GCPD as Batman supporting characters, and so far, I've got no reason to think I won't love them here. Okay. Mm, let's see. Okay, okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was just gonna wake up. I was, I was like, all right. Oh, God. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay. I can dig it. Clayface with all of the durability, but with none of the extra, you know, monstrous tendencies. All right. You weren't even that ugly, bro. <laughs> like, you're just kind of bony.
but oh. Uh, okay. Oh. So yeah, yeah, nice. I love it. Right, it, it works. Okay, but why the Crypt Keeper look when you're normal? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, right? What? Boo! I, I'm here with you. I'm here for you, Basil. <laughs> Chewing on scenery is half the fun of being an actor. I love that she decided she was going to get one huge dig in before she killed her. <laughs> nice. I mean, you got one roll. I mean, really, she should have just caught the saw rather than try and beat it time wise. Ew, ew. Does it have to be the face? <laughs> really? You look away for that long? I'm not sure those are gonna hold him. Not to I'm not I don't know I don't think he's at normal clayface levels of malleable, but I think he's at handcuff slipping malleable. Oh. a little bit nice ooh I wonder if they're kind of giving Renee Montoya the role of the character from the Batman Ellen Yin I don't think that she's been in any of his other shows or I'm not even sure if she's in the comics that role in police work if so, I'm on board.
I usually think they need to give Rene Montoya more to do. Great episode. I do wish, just for the superhero perspective, it was a little more clear exactly how much Clayface is capable of. But maybe they're saving that for, like, future surprises and such, so that's fine. Next time. Apparently now, because how many episodes did they come out with on day one? <laughs>